Kau tak bangga untuk gokina. Bagar orang tak kembali coba, nana musalah kita dengar. Bal toko kaya, enang gay program tu dulu tak kah, nana mui lagu lagu. So I want to encourage all the viewers, those that are watching now and those that will watch it later, because normally they they replay the program on every Friday night eight to nine, and also on our new Methodist page, and that is eleven o'clock tonight. So thank you so much for for watching. And we believe whatever they share, the five panelists today, it's very uh, resourceful to us, very beneficial yeah. to us. And also because the work of the Holy Spirit will be the lamp to our feet and a light to our path. I believe before Gasilevo prays for us today, something that he shared uh, last week, uh, there's quite a number of children calling for prayers. And uh, Sid is going to pray for us. I believe it's only uh, practical and more relevant for him to uh, mention the same as well. And uh, two changes he's found. Usually the women are always calling in for prayers during prayer time, uh, you know, the miracles to happen, as well as on the Sunday afternoon program. But one thing that he mentioned, that's quite an increase in uh, fathers or gentlemen calling and also the children. And uh, most children, when they call, uh, they're always asking for prayers for their mom or their dad, they're sick or you know, they are lying down in the other room, or they're calling uh, prayers uh, for their grandparents. So you may be one of the children you're listening today. Uh, maybe you, you're not really you know, um, looking forward to your future or confident of what's out there for you because uh, the very people that you rely on to help you moving forward are they are sick or they're going through a hard time and issues uh, that always make you call. So to those children who have been calling, and some of you um, have tried to call and didn't get through, I receive about two to three calls on my line, uh, direct line line in my office, uh, because they were searching, trying to find uh, you know, a space in that line to get through to the, uh, you know, the prayer studio where Ngasilevo was praying. And I know the need is great out there because Ngasilevo is going to be praying for all of you youth listening in today and also to the family. Uh, you know, you are, you are panicking that uh, you cannot face your future because you know something is happening to uh, your parents. Or maybe some of you listening today, you've lost your mom and your dad. And sometimes it can be so lonely and sometimes it can be so difficult. Uh, whatever that you're facing and whatever you're going through, um, Gasilevo is going to pray for us today. Uh, last night uh, really brought tears to my eyes before Gasilevo prayed today. Uh, we were sitting at the dinner table. It was me, my daughter, and uh, my husband. And um, thank you, Stanley, for sharing that uh, clip. And uh, there was a video clip um, on a birthday. Uh, <clears throat> we have talked about it as uh, uh, mother and daughter and organize a cake and uh, yeah, little things. And uh, last night, we were sent this video clip. And when this young girl, a 17-year-old young girl, uh, she turned 17 yesterday. When uh, she stood up standing there to um, celebrate her birthday, just a family, uh, while talking and, you know, she broke, uh, <clears throat> broke down and cried. Uh, that really um, humbled me and uh, touched my heart uh, last night as I uh, watched that video clip uh, to mention the fact, you know, um, uh, no one look out, <clears throat> look out uh, for uh, birthdays. And, uh, and that happens to um, uh, most children uh, that are listening in today. Uh, you don't even remember the last time that your birthday was uh, celebrated. And some of you uh, don't even have uh, any birthday acknowledged um, because it's, you are either living in between homes or you are with your single parent uh, that is trying to make ends meet. Birthdays is just like not in the list at all. And, uh, and sometimes you feel uh, you're missing out a lot in life and uh, it has taken its toll. So um, wherever you are and whatever situation you may face, always remember. You know, uh, as shared with uh, quite a few uh, on the panelists today, uh, Jeremiah 29 and 11, God is talking to you. And God said, uh, he alone know the plans that he has for you. To prosper you, never ever to harm you. And to bring about the future that you hope for. And, uh, and sometimes you thought, okay, I don't have anything. No, we need you to be reassured today. When everything else fails, uh, when there's no parents out there for you, uh, you need to know that there is a God and he's there for you. Uh,